Hello everyone, so today I want to show you how I make my 360 tiny planet videos, animation videos. Uh, if you can see here, I have a few examples. I have all the freedom to move in the 360 space. And I make tiny planets and do reverse tiny planet without any added plugin in After Effects. Uh, so I have uh, I have seen uh, something really similar to this. It's um, it's called uh, Insta360 Studio. It's a free program that you can download it. Why I don't use it? I don't use it because it's really limited. I want to control the optics distor distortion. I want to smooth the animation. I want to add motion blur. I want all of it. So, we're gonna open After Effects and um, let's start! So, here we are in After Effects. I imported a, a spherical map photo uh, just to use it as an example. Of course, 360 video will work also. So, let's create a new composition and I'm gonna use it 1080 by 1080 so it will make a square let's call it tiny planet okay and uh, let's put the photo in it so I, I'm doing a square video because of Instagram so I'm gonna scale it down I'm gonna press shift so it will scale appropriately. It, you don't need to make it perfect. You just need to scale down to fill the frame. So we're gonna select one effect called CC environment. Here we go. This effect work with the spherical form to create 3D spaces and stuff like that. Um, for the moment the preview are not showing anything but stick with me we're gonna change it for the moment we're gonna add another effect called optical optics compensation up really important the CC environment it's first optics compensation after that's really important and as we are here we're gonna click on this option because it's important and CC environment, it is spherical, it's okay, it's the first layer, everything it's correct. So now we, what we're gonna do is create a new camera. I'm gonna use a 24 millimeters, it's good enough. And here we go. So what we have here is a 360 projection of the spherical map photo. If I press C or I select the icon of uh, camera tool, I can, by left clicking and dragging, explore the 360 space. How nice! Okay, now let's open the position from the camera. I'm gonna select the layer of the camera, press P and keyframe the position. Now I'm gonna select the photo in the effects CC environment. I'm gonna select the horizontal pan and the lens distortion. In the optics, I'm gonna choose to animate field of view. So we added some keyframes, and to show all of them, I just unselect all the layers and press U two times. And here it is, all the keyframes that we added. So now what I want to do is make the traditional tiny planet. So I'm gonna look down on the camera, more like this. Okay, more like so. And the lens distortion, I'm gonna crank it up and see what we are doing. You can go crazy, it will repeat itself. Uh, but for this example, I want to push it almost like this. 
here we go and I want to rotate a little bit the horizontal pen like this now like this maybe now I just did zoom too much so I want to push this I like the circle on the center right here but I don't like this all these branches here so I gonna use this field of view to push it up and as you see it corrects it correct the distortion okay so in three seconds I want to reverse this tiny planet and I just go for it like so I want this tree to be in the bottom so I'm gonna work on it to go into the bottom so horizontal pan and I'm gonna rotate like so so now it's just a thing of adding more keyframes and start animating this simple so what I'm gonna do now is that I will stop the screen recording, I'm gonna make all my keyframes and I will see you in a few minutes. And here we are in the end. Now I'm gonna make a quick preview of this, just to show what I did make here. So, as you can see now, I did a loop for Instagram, so up, up, yep. And the cool thing in After Effects is that you can smooth everything. What I did is really simple, I just click on the keyframe and go to keyframe assist and go easy ease. So, by doing this, so I have this strange keyframe but it smooths the rival and the departure it gets really smooth if you want to edit the the keyframes uh, the smoothness you can do it so by clicking the graph and you see here that I'm using the speed graph that means this is pixel per second and you see how it, it Accelerate smoothly and then break smoothly and accelerate smoothly and break smoothly so here there is no speed there is no animation between these two keyframes and um, and there there we go here we have a smooth animation so the funny thing is I can in the photo I can animate the motion blur I just active the motion blur and the and to preview the motion blur I have to key I have to activate it here and as you can see it now have a, sm a smooth and motion blurred animation it looks like way too much it's okay in real time. We, we're gonna just leave it rendering. There we go. I really like the um, motion blur effect. It really links all the movements together. So I'm gonna leave it with the motion blur on. And let's export this. To export, I usually use media encoder so I gonna file export add to media encoder well done it's done rendering let's check it out yeah 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 the motion blur it's makes the image more natural I really like it really well done okay so we are done here uh, if you like this content 
please drop a like on this video, subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. If you have any questions, down below I will try to answer. If it's a really complex question, I'll maybe do a video like this one. And I hope you subscribe because I have a few ideas about this technique in, uh, in future projects that I want to share with you. So subscribe and until next time, I am Miguel and thank you for watching until the end of this video. Really nice, nice.